uh, for CSK in my last season. And um, I was batting in the nets just at a practice session. We sort of batted in pairs. So I was sort of at the other, the non-striker's end and um, my mate was down the other end batting and, and Flem just walked over to me and said, what do you reckon? Would you like to, you know, stay on as coach next year? I was like, wow, I hadn't, hadn't even thought of that, you know, at that stage. But um, to be honest, coaching is something that I've always been quite passionate about. Um, I, I did a teaching degree uh, when I was younger. Um, so I guess teaching and coaching, they sort of go hand in hand. Um, and so I sort of always knew that when I did finish playing cricket, I'd love to stay involved with the game. Uh, and so coaching was certainly something that uh, I was interested in, but I didn't know if an opportunity would come up. So again, I'm very lucky that, uh, that uh, Flem thought that I could maybe do the job. What I'm trying to do, <laughs> and again, you'll have to ask the players to see whether I deliver on that, but I, I want to try and build really good relationships, good personal relationships. Um, and I, I like working one-on-one. -on -one. I like uh, those individual sort of uh, relationships, building that individual trust, getting a real understanding about of, of their game, of the player's game and how they go about it, what their best looks like, and just try and encourage them to yeah, keep trying to recreate what their best looks and feels like and, and, uh, and then I guess try and help them understand what that is moving forward. Obviously there's, uh, there's weaknesses that we need to work on as well but I prefer to, to try and get them to figure out what their best game looks like and feels like and then, and then sort of keep trying to work on, on getting that as, as good as we can. I've absolutely loved this season. I've seen some amazing cricket. Uh, you know, the games this year have been so close, the competition's so tight, even coming into the last week. And again, we've got a fantastic group of players and, and support staff here to work with at CSK. So it's been another really enjoyable season. I guess, yeah, if we're say about two and a half weeks out before the tournament starts, the players like to get a fair bit of volume behind them, you know, just hitting lots of balls, making sure that their technique's in a good, good place, that they're moving well, their balance is good, all that, all that kind of thing. So I like to make the connection first, you know, um, just try and build on the relationship. If I've worked with a player in the past, then it's a little bit easier because you already have a pretty good understanding. If it's a new player, try and get an understanding about how they, how they tick, um, what they're working on, if there is anything I can watch or help them with. Um, and then I'll have a good close look at their technique their balance, um, all, all those kind of uh, batting sort of things, just to make sure everything's in good working order. If there's something that's a little bit out, then maybe we can, that's the time we can make maybe a couple of small adjustments. Communicating with the players about, you know, that, that'll happen through MS and, and Stephen Fleming. They'll, they'll, they would have sele well, selected the players um, for specific sort of roles. They probably would have communicated those to the, to the players beforehand and then as a coaching group we will obviously communicate uh, amongst ourselves about the role we see in that player play as well. And then it's my job I guess then to keep just re, uh, reaffirming that role to the player and, and we will try and do it as early as possible so in that uh, camp phase they can start training that sort of particular role. My favourite parts of coaching with this team. A lot of the older senior heads, that they, they know their game. They, they know what they need to do. They know what, how they need to prepare. It's just about trying to keep getting them into a good frame of mind to go out there and play their best cricket. But the younger guys is where there's great opportunity. You know, they're just sponges. They just want to learn. They just want to improve. They want to get better. And that's what I love. So I feel like I can have some great conversations with these young guys. The good thing about CSK is that you might have to wait a little bit longer, but when you get your chance, generally you'll get a, a good run at it. So don't worry too much, you know, just, just be patient, wait your turn, but just know that when you get a chance, hopefully, you know, the, the uh, captain and the coach will back you for a period of time, so you'll have a good opportunity to show your skills. What I see, I'm trying to help them improve their game, not just for us this season, but for us for the next two, three, four seasons, but also for whichever team they play. I would love nothing more than one of our young batsmen to come through and play for India. That that would be, that would make me feel great inside. This is something that I've really learnt from MSD, if I'm being honest. You know, he, he's an amazing man in so many ways, as we all know. But 
He's got this great ability to take pressure off people, players, coaches, and whatever. And, and what, I've, what I've really learned from him is that we can't control the end result. All we can do is turn up, give our best effort, make sure we're preparing well, give 100% on the field, and then some days you win, some days you lose. And almost taking that pressure off you, worrying about and stressing about the result can help you play, play your best cricket. It just seems to be a lot bigger and a lot louder. Um, obviously in those formative years, uh, you know, of, I think the people supported us, but then over time, when the team has success, when the players um, grow, like someone like MSD, you know, he was obviously a great player then, but his reputation's only grown from all the things he's achieved as a player and as a captain for, for CSK, but also for India over the years. So the love for him just keeps, keeps growing all the time. So, I feel as though when we first started, it was young, fresh, exciting. We had a good uh, fan base, but I feel as though over the course of the, uh, the journey, um, the fan base has just continued to grow and grow and grow, and, and the love for the team has just continued to grow even more. It's, uh, it's a pretty special team to be a part of, and, and I feel very grateful. Um, grateful for the opportunity and I feel grateful that uh, I was lucky enough to be part of this team from the start and, um, and to still be involved now is, is amazing. I, I, yeah, I just feel grateful really.